Uh, so this is a really quick video on how I use the hub. Uh, this is my first time ever working with a Phantom, so everything I did I had to figure out on my own. There was not a lot of videos for using the hub, so uh, hopefully this will help somebody out. So as you can see, here's the hub. It's pretty self-explanatory. So you got your iOS, iOS D mini here. You're gonna pull out the CAN bus. There's a lot of videos on how to set up the iOS D mini, so I'm not gonna go into it, but you set up the CAN bus here. ISD, iOSD mini here has a cable that goes into this part of the hub then you've got your transmitter cable you got two blacks which go to your two browns yellow yellow red to red also videos on how to wire this up uh, the only real trick here is, is that your phantom is going to come with this cable installed right here next to where the Zenmuse cable is you can just pull that out and get rid of it it's the one that comes stock underneath here. Um, as you can see, I've got the transmitter wired up. Um, and it's actually pretty easy. So you've got a cable that goes, the gimbal, uh, the Zenmoose cable will go in here. Uh, this is the one that comes up into the back. This one here. And then this cable will go into your board. Uh, and it kind of just does everything for you. It's really easy. It took me maybe half an hour to set up. And like I said, I've never done this before. So I've soldered before, but I've never actually set up a Phantom. So. Zen Moose in, this goes from here to the body, this to IOSD, IOSD to your CAN bus, and then this soldered to your transmitter, and it worked the first shot, so it's not too bad. Um, if you have any questions, post them up, I'll see if I can help you out, but uh, like I said, this is the first and only video I've actually seen about how to wire up this um, this hub. For 14 bucks, I mean, it's it's pretty sweet. I wish it would focus in here for you. There it goes. So, all right. Uh, enjoy, guys. Thanks.